Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is different. As you can see, I do not have any makeup on. Actually, I do have a little bit of lip gloss because my lips are always chapped. I do have hyaluronic acid and of course eye cream and sunscreen and I don't know why I put on sunscreen. Why would I do that? You know say. I guess because it's a habit that I have. It's a good habit to have. It's raining outside and I'm not going anywhere. So in this video, I am going to be tinting my eyebrows. I have sparse eyebrows. I don't know where that came from. I mean, right here I have some areas where always bug me. I'm so tired of filling in my eyebrows. A lot of times I don't. Sometimes when I wear makeup, it's like, mm, it is what it is. But I thought I would do some kind of eyebrow tinting. I don't want to color the hair. I just want to tint the skin. I thought about doing microblading. Now microblading is a commitment. I don't want to go through the pain. I don't want to have to go for a follow-up. And the commitment would be maybe hmm, one and a half to three years depending who does it and how well they do it. The other thing I thought about was henna, but I did not want to take the chance of my eyebrows turning red. And that's what happens sometimes with henna. So you have to be really careful when using henna products. So after tons of research, I decided to go with Instant Brow Tint by Godfrey. I selected this color thinking it's going to be medium brown, but guess what? It turned totally black. I was shocked. I actually filmed the process and I was going to upload that video and decided not to because it turned super dark and it took me about a week and a half to two weeks to get my eyebrows back to where they are today. It took a lot of scrubbing to get the color out. Not only did it tint the skin on my eyebrows but also my hair and that really turned black. So it took me about a week and a half to two weeks to get them back to normal. Then I went back online, I bought this on Amazon, and I decided to go with a lighter shade, which is light brown. This has, it's supposed to last up to four weeks of rich, vibrant eyebrow color, and it has three applications. When I first did it with the medium brown, I realized that I could get at least five to six applications because I didn't use all the product that came in the package, and I'll show you in a second. So there's non-toxic formula that contains no hydrogen peroxide or harsh dyes. Formulated with plant extract, this fast-acting gentle formula delivers rich, long-lasting color up to four weeks, and it's supposed to cover most resistant gray hair. So if you have gray hair, I don't have gray hair on my eyebrows, thank you God, hopefully that doesn't change. Um, this is supposed to cover resistant gray hair. In the box, you get three applications, the cream colorant and the gel activator, three of those, and you get three workstations. This is so cool. The workstations is where you squeeze a little bit of the colorant on number one, and then gel activator goes in the number two circle. This is your actual workstation. How cool is this? And it also comes with the applicator stick. Now, I didn't use this the first time, nor will I be using it the second time because it's a little flimsy and I want better control when applying the product on my eyebrows. So the first time I used an angled brush, this is Ardell angled brush. I think I want to use a different brush. I bought this Morphe E39. I already had it, it's just a little bit denser brush and I can probably apply the color a little bit easier than this. And then I also have another one that is by Essence of Beauty. I don't believe they make this anymore, but the company is still around. But this particular brush is a smudge brow. So I'm gonna see which one works best. I'm probably going to be using Morphe E39. So let's go ahead and get started. Wish me good luck. I will not be using gloves because it's really not a messy product. And I also, which they recommend, is applying petroleum jelly around your eyebrows so that way um, you don't get the product anywhere else except on your eyebrows. I didn't find it to be messy the first time I tried it and I'm not going to find it messy again. I'm going to clean my eyebrows. You're supposed to wash your eyebrows with mild soap. I'm going to just go ahead and wipe my eyebrows with alcohol. The only time I use alcohol on my skin. So I'm going to just use like a 91% alcohol and wipe my eyebrows. Make sure all the oils are gone, otherwise the product will not tint my eyebrows. Now that my eyebrows are nice and clean, I'm going to apply the colorant and gel activator on the workstation a little bit at a time because you can get about two applications out of each 
application. Number one it goes on number one. Yeah, I still have quite a bit of product in here. Let's get the gel activator. So one and two. Of course, I'll be following the directions. Remove workstation card and squeeze entire content solution one and two onto the marked circles, which I've already done. Thank you very much. And do not mix. It is best to tint one eyebrow at a time. It is true because when I did that the first time, so much easier. Allowing the color to process completely before starting the second eyebrow. Using enclosed applicator stick, apply solution one onto the eyebrow. Let stand for two minutes, gently blot dry with a tissue before proceeding to the next step. So I'm gonna start with my right eyebrow. So taking workstation number one, make sure my entire eyebrow is saturated with this product. I don't want to change the shape of my eyebrow. What I wanna do is just fill in the bald spot or just my skin. I want my skin to be dyed. Is that too much to ask for? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna stamp in the product, make sure it's touching my skin. Set the timer for two minutes. And the next step is gently blot dry with a tissue before proceeding to the next step. Okay, I have my tissue ready. And gently blot. Clean the brush. Next step, wipe applicator stick clean, meaning my brush and apply solution number two directly to the eyebrows. Let's stand for one minute and wipe clean with a damp tissue or cotton ball. Remove any color that may have gone onto the skin with a damp tissue. Got it. It says helpful hint for slightly darker, longer lasting results, apply remaining mixture and repeat the process. Good to know. So you can see I use all the cream colorant number one step. I use it all and I still have quite a bit left. This is where you're going to see the color change. I like that this does not have a developer and no harsh chemicals. I'm going to stamp this in. Well, it is gonna be dark brown, the color that I really want. I could tell because when I used the other one, as soon as I applied it on my eyebrows, I noticed it went black real fast. Stamp, stamp, stamp. I recommend you use a brush because you get a better control over where the product goes. Now, if I miss the spot, obviously I'm gonna go back and redo it. Okay, I've been doing this for too long, way longer than I probably should, but that's all right. Set the timer for one minute. Ah, there we go. I have a feeling I'm going to have to retint right in the middle. All right, we'll see. Ooh. Tinted my skin, definitely. What do you think? I might have to repeat the process in some areas, like over here and over here, but I'm going to wait until this is completely dry. It's not black, it is the color that I would like it to be. Maybe it's slightly darker, but that's okay because this will fade. This will fade. Moving on to this eyebrow. Going back in with cream colorant and applying it on one, and then the gel activator. You know what? It might be just one application, total one application, because I used a little bit more than last time when I first did my eyebrows. This eyebrow is fine. I have no problem with this eyebrow. Well, I do. I lied. I do have a slight problem right over here. And this eyebrow is thinner on the end than this eyebrow. It is what it is. Ah, 
All right, two minutes. I'm cleaning my brush before I apply the gel activator to make sure it's nice and clean. Gel activator. Let's leave this on for a minute. I still have a little bit of product left, so if I want to do a touch-up, I probably will end up having to do a touch-up right here and right here. We shall see. I am going to repeat the process in some areas, probably leaving the products on half the time, one minute versus two minute and 30 second versus one minute. Do you see a difference? I definitely see a difference and it's not black, thank God. This matches my hair perfectly. All right, let me repeat the process and I will be right back. Well, I think repeating the process definitely worked. It covered the areas that didn't cover the first time around, but I really like this color. I believe it's perfect for me. It's a little bit darker, but that's okay because in the next day or two, I'm sure it's going to fade. Now, I have to be careful when I wash my face not to scrub my eyebrows so much. Just be gentle because I don't want it to fade so fast so hopefully this will last about two weeks follow me on instagram because i will be giving an update on my instagram in my instagram stories so if you want an update to see how long this lasted follow me on instagram it's style by zaza of course and that is that what do you guys think i feel like i need to repeat the process right here but i'm going to let it go i like the way my eyebrows look i just have to trim them a few of them and that is that Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fabulous day. Take care. Bye-bye.